Hey, welcome to Marketing by John. Today, we're going to talk about the new age ways to build a community online. So many of you know that we're planning No Bull Con. It's uh, the No Bullshit Business Conference. We've been planning for a long time and took a lot of twists and turns with the pandemic. Kudos to my great team at Good Monster for backing up the marketing for that. And my uh, co-founders, Al Kutri and Rob Shauger, um, for helping to facilitate. Got a great event. Gary Vaynerchuk, AJ Vaynerchuk, David Meltzer, Constant Schwartz Marini, and uh, about 30 other real business builders are going to teach you how to build your business. Um, but the reason I'm talking about that was not necessarily just a plug, but it it uh, thrusts us into today's topic, which is building a community. So when we were looking for ways to do this first year event with no brand and no audience, we've tried to figure out the best way to build a community as well as make people feel like they're becoming a part of the Noble brand and a part of the Noble community. And the ways that we came up with that, uh, to do that, are four different things. Number one, email. Age-old way to grow a community is getting them to sign up for your email list. And so what we're doing is we're offering some exclusives for people that sign up for our email, even if they haven't bought a ticket yet. So we're offering a book by one of our speakers. Uh, we're offering some guides on uh, how to crush it in LinkedIn in 2021, a uh, TikTok guide. So we're using that as our lead magnet, right? When they get in there, then we start to send them content uh, that's help, helpful and valuable and sending them information about the event itself. The next is text message. This one's a little bit newer. This one's a, a newer opportunity for brands, but one that is widely adopted. So five years ago, people wouldn't have loved to set up, sign up for a brand's text. Text is like intimate. That's You text your friends. But with all of these social media platforms and us feeling very comfortable communicating on many different levels on our phones, when we're talking about millennials and, and Gen Z, any of the younger generation is completely comfortable with texting with a brand that they enjoy. So we're, in, uh, we're implementing this in the No Bull Con suite of community developers and text. And we're going to be doing text-only exclusives. So email is a great place to send everything. Uh, it's not a good idea just to slam your whole list, but it's a, it's a place where you can send kind of different segments, bulk kind of value and information and things like that. Text is a little bit more intimate. That one you want to make it seem a little bit more one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, you want it to seem a little bit more like you're talking directly to that person. And text also groups together WhatsApp messages and a little bit of Facebook Messenger. These messaging platforms are all sort of grouped together. You want to try to personalize that as much as you can. Uh, the third way we're doing this is going to be Facebook groups. Now, Facebook groups have been around forever. Not literally forever, but for a long time. And they were really great for a while, and then they kind of fizzled out a little bit. And, and now they're sort of coming back in a, in a bigger way. And because brands want to and need to craft private, exclusive communities, Facebook groups is a great way to do just that. It sort of acts like another platform, Reddit. So Reddit has these subreddits and communities of people over on Reddit. So Facebook groups and Reddit work similar in a similar way, which is, I want to go into this particular conversation about this particular topic, and I want to you know, spend some time over here with like-minded people who are going to converse, right? So that's why Facebook groups is such a great place. Reddit's also awesome, but that's a little bit more subculture. It's not as widely adopted as Facebook. I mean, Facebook's got, what, 2 billion people on it? maybe more on the platform globally. So Facebook groups is just more widely adopted. And the fourth one, the almighty clubhouse, which all of you, if you're a marketer uh, and, and, a, and a business builder, have without a doubt heard of now, the clubhouse app. Uh, it's only on iPhone currently. Be surprised if they don't come out with an Android version soon. But clubhouse is the audio only conversation place. It's a Facebook group but only live, no pre-recorded audio, you can't save your content, none of that kind of stuff. It's only live and it's only audio. And it's a place that you can jump into a room with anybody from, I saw Brad Pitt in there the other day talking about um, climate change uh, over to 
Gary Vaynerchuk talking, uh, answering questions about growing a business. You can jump into these rooms and just listen to them chat about it right there. You can even raise your hand and sometimes ask them questions. So these are four of the most special places right now to build a community. So if you have a brand, uh, you're a marketer, you're trying to grow your company, whatever it is you're doing, you probably need to grow a community. And those four places are the four places that I recommend you start. So let's go through one more time before we wrap up. Email. Currently, email is a no-brainer. You want to give people an opportunity to sign up for your email, but you need to tell them what they're going to get. So that's where a lead magnet comes in and a, and a clear description in that first email of what they are getting on this email list. That's a place that you can send discounts, blog posts, content, requests, surveys, and you can segment it based on the right audience for that. Text or messaging platforms are great to get instantaneous uh, messages out and instantaneous responses and go a little bit more one-on-one -on -one or one-to-one -one than a, a, a bulk email, right? So email is sort of blasting, uh, generalizing, but you're blasting to a segment. Text, uh, you're still sending probably automated text and responses, but it's much more one-to-one. -one. And so if somebody texts you back or your brand's line, you want to make sure somebody's there to respond to it. Then you have Facebook groups. We'll give a uh, honorable mention to Reddit. These are communities where uh, snowball conversation can happen. So if you have a brand, whether you're a personal brand or a, or a brand brand, business brand, you can start a Facebook group and you can prime discussion in those groups, which you don't even have to be that much of a part of, but you might want to prime a discussion. So no bull con, uh, our conference is about growing a business. And we might put a a post on Facebook that says something like, I don't know, um, what's a what's one business that you wish you could have started before it got saturated? And then people start answering and, and communicating and replying to each other and, and debating, and you can sort of sit back and watch and moderate that. Same thing on Reddit. It's a really great place. Facebook groups is a little bit easier to do as a brand. Reddit does not love when brands go in there. Um, and, and try to mess around with their conversation. It's much more of a personal um, platform. And then Clubhouse. You got to study a little bit on Clubhouse. I myself has, have struggled with Clubhouse, and here's why. Clubhouse is only live, and it requires that you are engaged, listening, which means you can't be in meetings while you're on Clubhouse. You can't be uh, doing a video like this or a podcast on, on Clubhouse while you're listening to Clubhouse. It has to literally be in your ear or you know, coming out of your phone, and you have to be listening to it in order to get any value from it. So you have to have dedicated time to engage with that platform. Now, it's no different than a YouTube video or Facebook or Instagram or anything else, but the difference is it's only live. So there's serious FOMO, serious FOMO when it comes to Clubhouse because you can't ever go back and hear that thing again. It's live. It's like you're all on a giant group chat right now. If you miss it, you miss it. It's gone. So my struggle with Clubhouse is carving out the time to have dedicated engagement time where I'm not doing anything else and I can focus and even have the opportunity to speak on Clubhouse. It's carving out that time because I know that content will never be there again. It's only live. So, But those four platforms are the places that I would focus. Hopefully that will help you carve your community management, community engagement strategy uh, for 2021. But those four platforms, email, messaging, Facebook groups, and Clubhouse House, uh, is where you should be focusing your time to develop those communities. Good luck. If you found value from this episode, make sure you leave me a good review on my podcasts uh, or your pet favorite podcasting platform, rather, Apple, uh, Google Play, wherever it might be, Stitcher. Leave me a good review uh, because that's how this podcast survives. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.